I'm Andy Geppert. I'm here with the Core Memory Interactive Exhibit called Core 64. Both the project is uh, interactive and the exhibit is interactive, trying to get core memory into people's hands. So this has a Raspberry Pi Pico W on it. This okay. model I just uh, finished designing, ran out of the previous components, believe it or not. And uh, this is available now on my website and at the table. But basically it gives you the opportunity to weave your own core memory. And then once you've done that, you can actually do something interesting with it instead of just stare at it. When you put LEDs behind it or neon bulbs, if you're back in that time, and you bring a magnet into the equation, you now have effectively a magnetic touchscreen. Starting out, what I learned was how to do circuit board design. I hadn't done that before, so this forced me to go down that road. Um, I've met a ton of people who actually used core memory, and I love hearing their stories about uh, the different ways you could use core memory. One fellow told me that if you pulse core memory at the right frequency, you can get the core to rotate on the wire like an electric motor. And if you do that long enough, you can cut the wire and you can make the text really frustrated. <laughs> Yesterday I heard somebody say, oh, they made a keyboard that operated with core memory with magnets on the back of the keys. And then somebody also said that somebody has an exhibit somewhere in Pennsylvania that has LA, or, uh, incandescent bulbs hooked up to core memory. So uh, my website is core64.io and it has basically all the focuses on this project and core memory.